Carbon dioxide is an active part of the Earth's atmosphere and an essential ingredient in natural ecosystems. The balance between the production and consumption of carbon dioxide helps to ensure a healthy environment and maintain the global climate. A small but steady rise in average global temperature over the last few decades, however, has been linked to increasing atmospheric concentrations of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Recent evidence suggests that these elevated concentrations are due in part to human activities such as deforestation, certain agricultural practices, and fossil fuel use. Ongoing concerns over the potential impact of greenhouse gases on the global climate have led researchers around the world to pursue ways to better manage these emissions. A great deal of interest has been focused on a group of methods collectively known as carbon sequestration. Carbon sequestration includes planting and protecting forests, expanding the application of sustainable agricultural techniques, and directly capturing carbon dioxide from fossil power plants and permanently storing these emissions in stable, geologic formations underground. One near-term opportunity for geologic sequestration is the use of carbon dioxide in enhanced oil recovery. Steam in combination with carbon dioxide is routinely injected into depleted oil fields to help recover additional petroleum. This process can be modified to allow for the permanent storage of carbon dioxide in empty geologic formations that previously held oil. Carbon dioxide captured from fossil power plants is injected into an oil field to extract the remaining oil trapped in the rock pores and crevices of the reservoir. Once the remaining oil is displaced and the oil field is exhausted, the well holes are sealed and the carbon dioxide is permanently stored. Another opportunity for geologic sequestration is the injection of carbon dioxide from fossil power plants into deep coal seams that cannot be mined. Although the depth of a coal seam sometimes makes mining impractical, the seam often contains recoverable methane gas. Methane is the primary component of natural gas and is a valuable source of clean energy. Pumping carbon dioxide into the cracks and fissures of a deep layer of coal displaces the existing methane. Because the carbon dioxide has a greater affinity for the coal, the carbon dioxide exchanges with the methane trapped on the surface of the coal, allowing the methane to be collected. When all the available methane has been recovered, the holes drilled into the coal seam are sealed. Carbon dioxide from fossil power plants can also be injected into saline formations deep underground. Saline formations are geologic structures comprised of saltwater, sand, and rock and are found beneath the Earth's surface throughout the world. They are typically under a very high pressure due to their depth. The carbon dioxide is pressurized, becoming a liquid, and then injected into the saline formation. Under the intense pressure, the liquid carbon dioxide is very stable within the geologic structure. Because of their abundance and storage capacity, it is believed that the Earth's saline formations have the largest potential for safely and permanently sequestering hundreds of years of captured carbon dioxide emissions. Since fossil fuels will continue to supply a relatively large portion of the world's energy over the next century, carbon sequestration, and specifically geologic sequestration, will be needed to help restore the balance between the global production and the natural consumption of carbon dioxide. The United States Department of Energy is moving forward with a comprehensive strategy to help stabilize the concentrations of greenhouse gases into the Earth's atmosphere. An important part of this strategy includes innovative geologic sequestration approaches. The goal is to protect our global environment and ensure the diversity, reliability, and security of the world's energy supply.